Hey guys, Charles Wall here. Uh, looks like we have a question. Student sent in a product has a price elasticity of 0.6. But we know that the PED values from zero to one, your PED value is zero to one, which includes 0 0.6. That means your demand is inelastic. If you're greater than one, your demand is elastic. If your PD value is one, right? Uh, could I say greater than one? If your PD value is one, then it's unit elastic. Understanding that to find these kind of answers, when we start talking about total revenue, we simply draw a demand curve that's downward sloping. We draw a total revenue curve up underneath it. And then right through the apex or the top of total revenue, we draw a line. This is where unit elasticity is. Uh, that doesn't write very well, but that's supposed to say unit elastic. Everything below is going to be inelastic. Everything above is going to be elastic. So the question says a product has a price elasticity of demand, which means that total revenue falls when the price increases. Total revenue increases when the price increases. Revenue is unaffected by price change. That can't be true. Why can't that be true? Because total revenue equals price times quantity. So if price goes up, mathematically, total revenue has to go up as long as quantity stays the same. So we know that two can't be the right answer. A net profit falls when the price rises. Do we know anything about cost? Net profit would have to imply total revenue minus total cost would give you profit. We don't know anything about cost, so I don't think this answer is going to help us. This is usually the form when you start seeing uh, total revenue in these elasticity questions. They really want you to recognize that if price goes up, let's say that demand was elastic and price went up, what happens to total revenue in the elastic section of the demand curve? It would go down. But if we're in the inelastic section of the curve, so this doesn't make sense. This doesn't make sense because this would be true if we had an elastic demand. Oops. Sorry. If we had elastic demand, this would be a true answer, but we don't. What we know is we have inelastic demand. 0.6 is inelastic. And when, total, when the price goes up, we know that total revenue can go up also. So that's why three is our answer. When you have an inelastic section of the demand curve, when your price goes up, your total revenue increases. This would make sense if we drew our own inelastic demand curve and we were to show the price changing. We could see that the price change here is a much greater proportion than the quantity demand change. So if our price went up by 5%, our quantity demand would change by less than 5%. That implies that we haven't lost as many customers and then our total revenue must have gone up. All right, my friends. If demand is inelastic and price changes, you don't lose as many customers. Right, total revenue goes up. All right, be safe. Take care. Thanks. Bye.